Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman here at the Cape Canaveral Air Station because tomorrow morning we're going to see the launch of the SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket with a Dragon capsule attached. It is right behind me, right back there. Uh, we are here just taking a quick tour of the launch pad for tomorrow. What I wanted to do is give you a little overview of how this whole system works. Uh, so we'll take a quick look at that and then we'll talk to a SpaceX spokesperson and hear how excited they are for tomorrow's big adventure. The mission is the first privately funded trip to the space station. SpaceX spent the last six years developing the rocket and capsule technology, funded by a combination of private and public investment. So this is to show you how everything works here at the pad. It's actually very compact as compared to NASA where it you know, spreads across acres. Uh, the building right over here is where the rocket is prepared for flight. It's actually prepared horizontally and not vertically because it's cheaper to do that and, and cost containment is really the name of the game in commercial space flight. It comes out on rails. Uh, it is then uh, hoisted up vertically onto the launch pad as you can see right there. Next to the pad is a large sphere that contains super chilled liquid oxygen. That's one of the components that makes up the rocket's fuel. Next to the rocket is a flame trench. Now when the rocket ignites, all of the fire and flame that come out of those rocket engines, there's actually nine of them on this, on this particular rocket, will blast through that flame chamber. A bunch of water is going to get dumped onto the pad to kind of keep the vibration and some of the noise down, and the rocket will take off pretty quickly. The company says that accuracy and speed are the two critical elements for catching up with the International Space Station. Well, you want the rocket to be exceptionally accurate when it goes up because you're trying to go up, carry the spacecraft, place it just in the right place in orbit around the Earth, and have that spacecraft in the right position so it can catch up to the International Space Station. But before it takes off, the rocket's computer conducts a number of tests in just a second or two to make sure its engines are working properly. Large clamps hold the fully ignited rocket down while those tests are conducted. The onboard computers were able to abort a first launch attempt May 19th when a faulty valve led to a pressure warning. The rocket was able to shut down less than a second before liftoff. But when those tests do check out, the onboard computers release the clamps and the rocket lifts off, flying through a small square of wires suspended over the pad for lightning protection. What you see is the rocket is standing in the middle of four lightning towers. There's a lot of lightning here in Southern Florida, or in Central Florida, and so you have to have all this protection for the vehicle in case there's a storm. With the mission finally underway after years of testing and planning, the SpaceX team is excited to begin moving toward regular space station flights. People in the company are extremely excited. I spent all day yesterday at Launch Control, and all the engineers have been working really hard for months. They're incredibly excited, they're incredibly proud, and they can't wait for this launch to happen. For CTTechJunkie.com, I'm Lon Seidman.